Let's talk parenting. Uh, today, uh, we'll be looking at how we influence our children's self-talk. And to do justice to that is Damilola Ogunremi, an etiquette expert and image consultant. Uh, she's the author of For Moms, Golden Guidelines for Raising Excellent Kids, uh, which is a book that offers mothers advice on how to raise well-behaved and emotionally responsible children. It's such a pleasure to have you here this morning. Okay, David. <laughs> Great to have you on the show. Nice to have you. Fantastic. Okay, so let's um, let's talk about um, you know the 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 self talk. So I find it really interesting because I know self talk is one of those things that actually influences us on the long run. But tell me more about uh, self talk. The importance of self talk. Yes, self talk is um, the internal dialogue that we're having with ourselves. Um, there are two kinds of talk, the external one that is directed to someone else on the outside and the internal one. Mm. Now your internal dialogue creates your belief, your belief system, and your beliefs also will determine the kind of attitude you will have towards life, whether you're going to win or going to fail. It's really, really important and it leads to our actions as well. So. Okay, so now, now that we've established what self-talk is about, uh, let, let's talk about the importance of self-talk, especially how we parents influence it in our children. Okay, so really young children um, create their self-talk from what they hear from their parents. So for instance, you know, your child trips or pours milk, and it's something they do most of the time, your response is, ah, you know, you're so clumsy, or why, why can't you just be smart? You've got a milk again, why? Mm. The child is interacting with and thinking, mm, I'm so incapable, mm. you know, or I must be really clumsy. Mm. And this thing passes, but years after, the child is still hearing your voice saying, you oh, are clumsy, you know, and it determines. The, the way they will face life and face certain challenges mm. you know, when they come. Mm. Um, the way we help our children too is very important. Mm. So, for instance, if a child um, wants to do something, yeah. like a toddler wants yeah. to be independent, mm. and you say, ah, you can't do that one, let me help you. Mm. You know, what are we saying to the child? You see, you're not. You know, so we can use words like, oh, would you like some help? Mm. You know? So in, in a situation like this, when, um, you know, you, you're, you're trying to help your child, we hear a lot of, ah, aren't you smothering the child with too much support or too much, in quote, love? I've never believed in that. Your love is ever too much. But aren't you over pampering the child? You know, people mistake saying the right and positive words you know, which of course influences self-talk, to you spoiling the child. I, is that really the case? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, I'm all for independence and everything. So if I say, um, if a child really needs help, mm. instead of saying, you can't do that, let me do it for you. And you say, oh, would you like me mm. to help you? Mm. You're giving that child a choice to say, mm. okay, I need some support here or not. Mm. And Things like I mentioned, if you spill milk on the floor, you can say, oh, I noticed you spilled the milk. Let's get the rag and wipe it up so we can say what we noticed, mm. you know, mm. and support our child mm. that way. Mm. So for children that are not so young and maybe primary school age, mm. you know, you begin to see the consequence of their self-talk actually in their self-esteem, in the mm. way they relate to their work and things like this. Mm. So we can... Um, Start having conversations with them about how are you feeling, mm. what are you saying to yourself. Mm. For instance, a child that keeps saying, I don't like math, I don't like math, I don't like math, that must be coming from somewhere. Mm. You know, maybe they have a friend that does not like math, mm. and they've taken on that conversation from that friend, mm. and they begin to say they don't like mm. math, so you mm. need to find out from the child. What are you saying to yourself? You know, this, this is actually a very vast subject. I feel like it's not one that one time on the show uh, can actually, you know, do justice to it. But 
I must say a very big thank you to you for being uh, on the show. But right now, let, let, let's take a quick break, okay? We'll, we'll get back to this conversation. Please stay with us this week of Nigeria. Okay, thank you so much for staying tuned. Back to the conversation on the parenting. And we still have uh, a Joker David of Aquila's Needles uh, Montessori School. Uh, great to have you still in the studio with us. So before we had to take that time out, apologies uh, uh, for the old um, audio issues. I remember that you were, you know, trying to expatiate on what self-talk is about. But I think sometimes when you have examples, people are able to better relate with the subject. I, I wonder, can you give us a few examples? Okay. So if we have um, a child who's not doing so well in school, yeah. uh, I think we had um, mic issues then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a child who's not doing so well in school, you need to find out how he's feeling about the subject or what he's saying to himself. Mm. Um, I had an opportunity of talking to some children mm. um, at some point, and I said to them, you know, what are you saying to yourselves mm. every day about certain things? And some of their responses really surprised me. One of them said, oh, um, I keep saying to myself, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Mm -mm. And I said, why? You know, perhaps, you know, maybe someone at home, you know, responds to him, mm -hmm. are you dumb? Mm -hmm. Or you're not dumb, why are you doing this? Mm. So I had to explain to that child that I don't think you're dumb. Remember when you did this mm. and you did well, you need to remind them of their wins, of the kind of things that they've done well. And tell them, yes, that's true. Mm. And maybe help that child to understand why he or she you know, is having the challenges they're having. So you need to ask, okay, um, are we putting in enough effort mm. into this area of work? Mm. What do you think we should be doing? You know, what is our plan from now on? So basically, do your best to encourage the child. Exactly. Yes, do, do your best to ensure that you don't talk down on your children. Do your best to let them see the positive side of every situation. Because if your children keep being made to focus on the negative, it will definitely cause a problem on the long run. And then you need to give them counter thoughts as well. Mm. So you can say, you know, instead of saying to yourself you're dumb, what would you like to see yourself as? And they say, well, I want to see myself as really smart. So you say to yourself, I'm really smart, you know, and keep saying it over and over again. Mm. And when they do that consistently, they actually experience the result mm. or the consequence of those self-talks. And it really does work. Okay, so, uh, well, we've been able to learn quite a number of stuff this morning, especially as parents. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Ajaka Davis. It's been quite an interesting conversation. Thank you so much. All right, at this point, we've reached the top of the hour. Of course, you know what it means. Uh, we'll see you on the other side of the hour. We hope you stay with us. It's Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs>